There it is. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Mikey here, SD Fishing Sips. And we're looking at my commercial fishing license for 2021. I picked it up and I'm gonna be hitting La Jolla to Point Loma, San Diego offshore banks, yellowtail, halibut, mackerel, everything in uh, La Jolla to Point Loma and then chasing that tuna, Benito, Dorado, offshore bank San Diego. I'm gonna give you guys a little glimpse in of the story. Here we go. This is Mikey SD Fishing Sips and the story about my co commercial fishing experience here in San Diego for 2021. I'm getting into it. Let's see how it progresses. I'm gonna show you my first outing here with Shane on the commercial boat and we cruised up to La Jolla in search of mackerel and Point Loma in search of mackerel. We made 100 pounds, caught 100 pounds and then we took it over and he sold it at Tuna Harbor Market downtown San Diego. Let's take a look at that. Welcome back to the channel SD Fish and Sips. It's 5.30 in the morning April 22nd 2021 and I got something very special today. I'm starting my commercial fishing experience. Going out for the first time on my buddy Shane's boat today. I'm going to do some commercial fishing for yellowtail and mackerel and see how that goes. So it's gray light right now. The water's still really hot and really warm in La Jolla. I was out there on Tuesday and I saw Shane out there too. We saw Yellowtail just come through for a second, but neither of us were able to get them. Yanni wasn't able to get any either. And then it rained yesterday on Wednesday, and then the water's temp is still warm. There's the biggest south swell of the season coming in. The Yellowtail bite should still be hot. So we're gonna get out there, we're gonna do it today. And I'm gonna document it all, bring it to you. Check it out, do this. Yeah, tight lines, SD fishing sips going commercial now. You. Here we are, about to roll up to the docks. We're here at Driscoll's. I got all my gear prepped, ready to go. What we're looking at here is I got my dry bag, and this has my cameras, my drone, my pocket, for electronics in here. And then I got my lunch and my tackle inside here. I got some frozen water bottles and my kill bag right here. And then I got my rods and reels right here. So I hit up Shane, let him know that I'm cruising up. Let's do this. Yeah, I know, it's looking really nice. The moon was so cool this morning when it was setting. It was like, that is cool. A little full moon fever. Woo-wee. Nighttime action. It was like, it set, was setting right over the Hyatt when I rolled in. My buddy with the solo skiff said that he hooked up with the yellowtail and, and he lost it trolling. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so here's the boat that we're looking at that we're fishing off of. The center console, Grady White. I think it's about 22 feet long. Got the 250 Yamaha on the back of it. That's the tank for the mackerel. The, the cockpit control station, that's where Shane's usually at. Then I keep my gear and stuff up front right here. That's set up nice. Got the wash down hose right here in the scrubber. I try to keep this area clean back here. And then here's the bait tank. Not fired up right now. Nothing in it. Over here, we got these bins right here. There's some mackerel in it last time. Not this time. Oh yeah, those are juicy baits. I just kind of dip it in and let them swim out almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah they almost like... just swim out of it. I'm gonna put the fly line. I got 40 pound fluorocarbon here on my two watt ring circle hook, Amagatsu. I already have this one tied. I'm gonna put it on the pen. This is what I was rocking with my Nomad before. But the pen jig master right here. This is my live bait and my trolling reel. So we'll get this put on. Ready to go. 
go fish. See how the flag is going again? It's like random gusts. Not at all. Nah, I know. Should I get a bucket from her and uh, We got that bucket right yeah. there. And then, then uh, bring it back over here. Get some of that Mac attack. Mackerel. Nice. All right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. No, that's what it's all about, the live bait. Yeah. That looked like that Spanish guy, a little mangled, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. How do you like to eat your yellowtail? Oh, anyway, I have <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you. Sweet, it got mackerel. Now we don't have to make live bait. We hooked it up and we got a variety of mixed pack too. Yeah, that one right there. Yeah, with the messed up nose. Yeah. The less to have in the tank, the better, huh? Yeah. If there's ones that aren't gonna be good for bait, don't keep for them in the tank. For a long period of time. Damn, yeah, it's it was... only 60 degrees right now, the water temp? Yeah. Yeah, it was 62 on Sunday. Oh, there's the new Seaforth uh, loading up on bait right there. They'll be out on the Hoya Kelp. They chummed it up nice on Sunday, yeah. uh, but it was just calicos. They just were in tight to the kelp. The school where they might get one fish hooked and then the sea lion gets it. Damn, that's a pretty cool little boat. Cause it's changing pressures off of that storm coming through yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it seems like it's gonna be opportune time today. We'll see. There's a new seaport. Then we got the Polycraft. Good current right there. Ripping off the buoy, pushing in. Yeah, yeah good morning. I like your rig, dude. That's nice. You going La Jolla? You know, look at that yellow tail. He's going La Jolla too. Here we go. Today's haul. So, how many pounds a day do those boats do? Tonnage. Thousands of pounds. Yeah. And they use that small boat on the back of it to go set all the nets out. Yeah. It's a big boy boat, bait boat. This is the small local bait boat. All done for the day put away and out the motor we're here downtown san diego tuna harbor park dockside market saturday morning they have these every saturday down here in san diego and you can support local fishermen and buy their catch straight from them here on the dock on the pier here downtown san diego saturday mornings so about a week ago 
I ran into my friend Shane on the water out in front of Mission Bay in Point Loma. I was fishing some grunion out there, minding my own business, and then he came up and started talking with me, and he's on his boat. Now, I met Shane last year in October out in La Jolla. We were fishing for yellowtail, and he was on his jet ski. Then we got some yellowtail together in Point Loma in November, and I found out that he was commercial fishing off of his jet ski. Then I saw him this, this year, early this year in January, February, and he had a boat. So he upgraded to a boat now, and he's still commercial fishing off his boat, and he specializes in mackerel, because it's the most consistent. Spanish mackerel and Pacific mackerel, or greenback mackerel. And he goes out and catches those mackerel. He was doing it off of his jet ski, and now he's doing it off his boat. He goes and catches those Thursday, Fridays, gets them on ice and gets them prepared, and he sells them now here at the market. We're gonna go check him out and see what's going on with him. But he asked me if I was interested in commercial fishing. So I said, yeah, you know what, why not? So I went ahead, he gave me the number for Cal for the office. I emailed the office. They put me up for a license. I got a resident commercial fishing license. It was around $160. That allowed me to go out onto his boat. We launched out early, went out front of Mission Bay, San Diego, looking for mackerel. Got some out there, some greenback, specific mackerel. Then we cruised up into La Jolla and we were yellowtail fishing up there. We were in a good zone. My friend Frank got two yellowtail that day, but we were in a good zone trolling around trying to make it happen. Weren't able to make it happen on the yellowtail. So then we cruised back over to Point Loma kelp and that's where we caught the majority of our mackerel. We were able to catch just under 100 pounds of mackerel. We got them bled out put them on ice for that night, then Shane packaged them up, and now he's got them here down at the market. So let's go see what he's go got going with the sales of the mackerel down here at the market, and then we'll check out some of the other fish that's going on. Yeah, buddy, what's up, man? Looking good. Yeah. Making it happen. How'd you do? My buddy got two yellowtail yesterday, trolling La Jolla. Oh, there you have it. He said white sea bass when he was walking in. So you got the line going in right now. Report? What's up, Raul? Yeah, good to see you, everyone. Oh, this is the processing center here at the end. It's got a halibut down there on the end. Is that your halibut? No, that's a nice, that's a, I wish it was mine. <laughs> I gotta, ca I, I gotta catch my own halibut. I don't, I can't go out and buy it here. I gotta work hard for it. I love me some halibut though.